Hey, Econ students, this is Jacob Clifford. Now, your teacher professor has probably told you that monetary policy has changed. And depending how old your textbook is, it might not even be in there. So to help you out and give you a big picture of what's going on with monetary policy, here's a clip from a video from my ultimate exam slayer. There's a lot of confusion out there, so I'm gonna solve the problem by giving you this graphic organizer that covers all these terms. Monetary policy is done by the central bank. It's increasing and decreasing the money supply to affect interest rates and affect the overall economy. So the central bank, which is like the banker's bank does monetary policy to affect the policy rate. The policy rate is the benchmark or the target they're shooting for to say we're doing a good job increasing or decreasing interest rates. In the United States, the policy rate is the federal funds rate. It's the rate that commercial banks charge each other for overnight loans. Now, how the central bank actually does it depends if there's limited or ample reserves in the banking system. Limited reserves means commercial banks have very few reserves with the central bank. Ample reserves means there's a ton of money out there. These commercial banks have a ton of money with the central bank. Bank. If there's limited reserves and the three traditional ways of increasing or decreasing money supply to affect interest rates are going to work. The first one is the reserve requirement, which is how much banks have to hold by law. The second one is the discount rate, which is the rate the central bank charges commercial banks. And the third one's the most important one. It's open market operations when the central bank buys or sells bonds. Again, those are the three traditional methods of monetary policy. But when there's ample reserves, those other ones don't really work. So the central bank has only one option, which is increasing or decreasing the interest on on reserves. It's the interest that commercial banks earn by depositing money with the central bank. Now let's stop here for a second. Both of these, the discount rate and interest on reserves are called administered rates. The central bank has direct control of them. They can increase them, they can decrease them, which is different than the policy rate. Again, the policy rate is the target rate and the central bank doesn't have direct control over that. And that's why the central bank does monetary policy to increase or decrease the policy rate to affect the overall economy. What are you talking about? It, I mean, why don't you let me get my head above water for two seconds? Woohoo! I just covered a lot of concepts. I hope you get it because you're going to see it in the multiple choice questions and on the free responses. Now, I hope that's helpful, but that's not it. You also have to be able to draw the reserve market graph. Again, it's going to depend on your teacher or your professor. If you're an AP student, you definitely have to be able to draw and shift this. If you want to learn more about that, go ahead and watch this video. And if you need more help, take a look at my ultimate review packet and the ultimate exam slayer. Thanks for watching. Until next time.